Hello everyone, I'm Ryan Shea, and welcome to today's webinar on level monitoring and controlling using Precision Digital's meters and controllers. Level is one of the most common uses for our products. We have listened to our customers over the years and added many features to these products that make them great for level applications. So whatever level sensor or transmitter you choose, whether it's ultrasonic, radar, capacitance, or submersible pressure transducer, there is sure to be a Precision Digital meter or controller to make that system complete. So let's get started and learn about them. So today we're going to discuss some of the most common problems found in level indication and control. Take a look at Precision Digital's unique solutions to these problems, help you choose the right product for your application, and then we're going to talk about some real success stories. So what are the most common problems with level indication? Well, this slide is going to give you a clue. For tank level applications, the most serious issue is that climbing tanks is dangerous and also time consuming and definitely not fun in the cold heat, rain or snow. But if the level transmitter is, on, is installed on top of the tank and there's no tank side indication, what choice does that operator have but to climb the ladder and hope for the best? So even if the transmitter does have a display on it, it is still on top of the tank and impossible to read without climbing that tank. That's why installing a precision digital indicator tank side is the convenient and safe solution. With a properly located remote display, efficiency and safety are never compromised. Precision Digital's level indicators and controllers provide instant and convenient access to your most important processes. So let's take a look at Precision Digital's product offering for level indicators and controllers. And keep in mind, if you don't see a feature you'd like to have, just let us know. We're always looking for more features to add to our products to make them perfect for all your level applications. So here are some of the unique solutions we offer for level measurement applications. So let's start with one of the coolest, which is the feet and inches display. We offer it in both an LCD version, like the instrument on the left, and also an LED version, like the instrument on the upper right. So notice that the LCD meter even has a bar graph on it. Our meters are also great for pump control applications and they are available in both panel mount general purpose configurations and also, and also the explosion proof versions. We offer loop powered meters like the one shown on the left that can be powered completely off the 4 to 20 milliamp loop. And if you have applications involving multivariable level transmitters with Modbus interface, we can display those multiple parameters such as level, temperature, and interface or scroll through multiple transmitters. Here are a few of the most common level applications a uh, precision digital meter can be used for. Tank level gauging, multi-pump control, sump level indication, lift station control, silo height display, round horizontal tanks, and others like well level monitoring and control. The PD6801 and PD6701 loop powered feet and inches level indicators will work with any 4 to 20 milliamp output level transmitter. Their big backlit display has a wide viewing angle that makes them easy to see in all kinds of lighting conditions and the 20 segment bar graph provides a convenient visual indication of tank level. You can also scale the meter for a non-linear signal such as round horizontal tanks using the safe touch through window buttons. The safe touch buttons feature is particularly useful in hazardous areas where the cover to the instrument cannot be opened. So let's take a look at a display in more detail. So this is the PD6801 and PD6701 and it can display tanks up to 399 feet, 11 inches tall and notice that the feet and inches labels in the nice formatting of the feet and inches display. The level can be displayed to even finer re resolution of an eighth or sixteenth of an inch and to help the visual indication of tank level, there's a 20 segment bar graph. The upper digits are 0.6 inches high and the lower digits are 0.4 inches high with an alphanumeric character. So all the letters in the alphabet can be displayed with clarity as we're doing here with the word tank. Finally, the display contains high and low alarm indicators. So this is a really great display for level applications. So this slide shows how the feet and inch meters work. Notice how the tank is filling and the lower line changes between the custom tag, tank 8, and the percent full. Also notice how the bar graph increases as the tank fills up and finally how the high alarm is triggered at 90% full.
The PE6830X and 6730X feet and inches Modbus scanners can scan up to 16 Modbus registers either from multiple transmitters or multiple variables on a single transmitter. The display is available in both feet and inches version and also a standard five digit version. The Modbus scanners can be set up in master, slave, or snooper mode and depending on the application. Best of all, the unit can be fully configured from a PC which is a great feature when you have to program up to 16 variables. These products are available in both Explosion Proof and NEMA 4X versions. So now let's take a look at the PD6830X and the PD6730X, which can display level, interface level, and temperature from a multivariable level transmitter. So the level is 52 feet 6 inches and 2 sixteenths. The interface is 12 feet 9 inches and 7 sixteenths, and that temperature is 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Now these pictures might start to look a lot the same. So, so far we've seen feet and inches loop powered meters and feet and inches Modbus scanners. The PD6800 and 6700 are loop powered stand standard decimal displays and they all have the same display feature as the earlier products, but have more of a universal display of five digits so they can be displayed level up to 99,999 gallons, liters, barrels, etc. The second line on the dual display has a 7 alphanumeric character and can be used to display engineering units such as gallons. Also, the user can configure the meters without removing the cover using those safe touch through window buttons. So up until now, we've been discussing meters with LCD displays. Now we're going to move on to our LED meters. The main difference between these meters and the previous ones is that they can provide the 24 VDC power for the transmitter and can control up to 8 relays for alarms and pump control. Notice that we have panel meter and explosion proof versions as well. The PD6000 and PD8000. Now the PD8000, which is the explosion proof version, makes a fantastic sum controller. The second line can be used for engineering units or as a percent full indicator as the PD6000 above is showing. The PD765X2 and PD8765 make, gr make great pump controllers as well with their 1.2 inch high digits and their super bright display which can be read from a distance and even in direct sunlight. The main differences between the PD765 and the PD6000 are the display size, the number of digits, and single line versus dual line. If you, if you need a display that can be seen from up to 30 feet away, uh, the PD765X2 is definitely the way to go. We sell a lot of these PD765X2s in combination with a level transmitter for some pump control. The PD765 can provide the 24 VDC to the power of the transmitter, and also its two relays can be set up for automatic pump alternation. Combine the, those features with a NEMA 4X front panel and UL listing, and you definitely have a great solution for single pump control applications. So now the PD6081 feet and inches Modbus scanner is perfect for level monitoring in multiple tanks. So this can accept up to 16 Modbus variables and two 4 to 20 milliamp in, in, inputs. There are actually two versions of this product, the PD6080, which has an upper display in the standard decimal format, while the PD6081 pictured here has a display in feet, inches, eighths, or sixteenth of an inch. As the meter scrolls through the variables, the lower display changes and provides a tag for the upper display. So in this case, the PD6081 might be scanning through 16 silos and is currently displaying silo 3. And although we promote this product as a Modbus scanner, many customers with a 4 to 20 milliamp transmitter will use this, this meter just because they like that fee and inches display. Now the PD6089 and PD86081 uh, are also Modbus scanners designed to monitor and level multiple tanks by scanning those 16 process variables. And the main difference between these meters is that the PD6081 is an RS485 Modbus RTU communications um, on these meters is on board. So now we're going to talk about some of the unique features that we offer that are specifically designed for level applications. The dual scale feature available on many precision digital level related products allows one input to be represented in two different scales. For instance, in this case, the upper display is showing gallons and the lower display is showing percent full. Notice how the top display toggles between 872.2 and the word gallons. So in this example here, the upper display is showing gallons once again, and the lower display is showing height. The upper display toggles between 872.2 and gallons. And remember that this is all from a single input, and we are just displaying the input in two different scales to give operators a clearer understanding of their process.
And a slight variation on the theme of dual scale is dual inputs, which can be handled by the PD6060 and its explosion-proof version of the PD8060. These two meters can accept two different 4 to 20 milliamp inputs and display them on the upper and lower display. In this case, the upper display is showing the value for tank 1, which is 14.24, and the lower display is showing the value for tank 2, which is 19.85. Any relay or 4 to 20 milliamp output can be assigned to either input. So overall, the dual input meters provide an economical way to display the level of two tanks, especially in the case of the explosion-proof versions. Now here we have a round horizontal tank, and this is a feature available on the ProView process meter. If the tank is a round horizontal tank with flat ends, like the one on the left, the user needs to only input the tank's height and diameter, in either inches or centimeters. The meter will calculate the, its volume. Now the multipoint linearization is available on most precision digital level indicators and controllers, and if the tank has something other than flat ends, the user could input up to 32 calibration points to linearize the tank. The best part about the, these sophisticated features is that they can be completely programmed through our free MeterView Pro software, which is, which is available online as a free download. Now here's a typical application for pump control using the PD6000, so let me set the scene for you. So this is a level sensor being powered from the PD6000, and the 6000 is scaled from 0 to 8,000 gallons. The top line is showing the volume, and the lower line is showing the engineering units. We are controlling the level between 6,000 and 1,000 gallons, and that is when the level reaches 6,000 gallons that the pump will turn on and empty the tank. Now there are two relays controlling the main and backup pumps, and two relays controlling the high and low level alarms. You will also notice that the number 4 indicator on the PD6000 is illuminated, and that corresponds to the main pump being on. So the pump is on and emptying the tank, and as the caption says, relay number 4 turns the main pump on at 6,000 and turns it off at 1,000 gallons. Now with the pump alternation feature activated, the next time the level reaches 6,000 gallons, relay number 3 transfers and starts the backup pump. Notice that number 3 indicator is illuminated on the PD6000 and that backup pump is on. Now if the backup pump is not able to keep up and the level reaches 7,000 gallons, relay number, four starts in the main, uh, relay number 4 starts in the main pump as well. So notice that both pumps are on and indicators 3 and 4 are illuminated. So under normal conditions, one pump turns on at 6,000, but if it can't keep up, that other one comes on at 7,000. If the level keeps rising, then relay number 2 will trip and the high, and the high alarm at 7,500 gallons. Uh, that alarm is programmed to reset at 6,900 gallons. So notice that indicators 2, 3, and 4 are illuminated and the high alarm indicator is also on. So finally, let's say that the level drops below 1,000 gallons, but one of the pumps did not shut off. Relay number 1 trips the low alarm at 495 gallons, so we have just demonstrated a very powerful yet simple way to set up and use a pump controller, and it has a very economical price of only $384. Now we've talked about the feet and inches display already, but we've had no discussion of the unique level feature found on precision digital meters. Uh, would be complete without a recap of this display. So no other display out there gives you an upper display in feet and inches, a lower display in tag and percent full, and of course the bar graph for visual indication of tank level. And no other display can be seen from a wide viewing angle in bright sunshine or dimly lit areas. So we all know that choosing the right level indicator or controller for an application is critical to putting together a safe, efficient, and effective level monitoring system. Now we're going to discuss some, some key considerations to take when choosing a level indicator or controller. Now first of all, the unit must display the right information, obviously. Uh, so this means considering what sort of readings would be most useful to your operators. It, the indicators can display level information in a wide range of ways, including 0 to 100 percent, feet and inches readings, metric readings, volume, or height. Indicators can also display level in large digits. So it's important to know what the largest number uh, the meter needs to display. So for instance, if the tank holds 500,000 gallons, the meter would need to display six full digits. So once you know what information the operator should have or wants, Pick a meter with a display that accommodates that kind of information, and we offer a large selection of level indicators and controllers with diverse display types. So next, think about how or where the indicator will be mounted. Remember that the indicator should be easily accessible to the operator, and we offer level indicators that are available for panel, field, wall, or pipe mounting, as well as for installation in safe and hazardous areas. 
Tank silos, sumps, and wells and other common level measurement sites are often isolated, so running power to these locations can be costly and time consuming. So consider what power source your remote level display will be based on what power may already be available. This will reduce your time, cost, and essentially aggravation when installing a remote display. We offer level indicators and controllers that can be powered from a variety of sources including line and loop powered. Loop powered meters are perhaps the most convenient because they can be powered directly off the existing 4 to 20 loop and require no additional wiring. Now while it's important to utilize a remote display to put critical, uh, critical level information where operators need it, level meters and controllers can do more than just display the level transmitter signal. So consider what other features your remote display has and how they can be used to simplify your installation by being the heart of your local level control system. Precision digital level indicators and controllers do more for your application with features like alarm monitoring, pump alternation control, interface level, and much more. So now we're going to review some, some real success stories. So here's a PD-86000 uh, monitoring tank level of an oil tank. So you notice how the bright large display stands out and is easily readable. The built-in mounting flanges allowed it to be pipe mounted and conveniently near the tank. Now here are four PD-86000s installed in a hazardous area. Now they are monitoring crude oil tank level of the tanks you see in the background. These make great remote level displays with their sunlight readable display. They can be read easily outdoors in direct sunlight. So in this application, the level transmitter uh, is installed on top of that tank and the two PD-8765s are being used as a remote tank level indicator for convenient readings at the operator's level. The bright hues display is easily seen from far away and in direct sunlight. So in this application, two PD-8765s are monitoring level at an oil refinery while doing pump control. So here we have a PD-6801 feet and inches uh, indicator monitoring tank level at a chemical plant. So you notice how the display was rotated to accommodate the horizontal pipe mounting. And here's a great picture of, a, of two PD-6801 feet and inches indicators monitoring tank level at an oil refinery. And notice how the clearly labeled feet and inches displays plus the bar graph provide an intuitive and easily understood level reading. And that rugged NEMA 4X will withstand any kind of wet or dirty environment. So in this application, level transmitters are installed on top of each tank. And although the transmitters have a built-in display, uh, three PD-765X2s are being used as a remote display to make level readings more accessible. The sunlight readable display and huge digits make these ideal for an outdoor application just like this one. So in this application we have one PD-6701 feet and inches indicator which is being used as a remote indicator at a commercial asphalt storage plant. So notice how easy it is to understand the tank level status with 96% with 96% full rather indicated on the bottom display and bar graph being mostly full. You can see that very clearly. So I want to thank you all for attending this webinar and hope you found it useful and informative. If you have any questions you can always give us a call and we'll be happy to discuss any applications or any questions that you may have. Thank you.